After you are done with this video, check out this amazing list of projects. This is enough to impress anyone with your React and JavaScript skills. We are on Instagram as well where we post about React, JavaScript and a lot of modern frameworks. We have our username right here and we have a special giveaway coming up on 3000 followers. Also, don't forget to like and comment what you think about this video and don't forget to subscribe. Hey everyone and welcome. So from today we'll be starting our 15 day lead code challenge and every day I'll be solving a problem from lead code. Most of the problems will be from lead code. A few of them could be outside of lead code. Okay, so if you want to share the code with me, if you want to do the project with me or the problem with me, you can use the Repel IT, which is a pretty good platform to write your code and share it with anyone you want. All right, so let's look at the question. This is a pretty simple question. These pro problems initially will be for a warm up, and after we have a, a done a pretty good warm up, we can go with the medium ones and maybe eventually to the hard ones. Okay, let's look at the question. So, remove the vowels from a string. We are given a string here, and given a string as remove the vowels a, e, i, o, and u from it and return a new string. All right, so as you see here, we need to return a new string, so you need to have an extra space which is going to help you with that. You don't need to modify the existing string. All right, so if you look at the example, lead code is a community for coders. It's going to give you an output which says something like this. And if it's completely full of vowels, you need to return an empty string. Okay, so as for simplicity, it consists of lowercase English letters only. Great. So the solution could be, if you wanted to go and check the, if you want to do the solution by yourself, you can either pause the video right here and try to do it and think what your steps might be and let me know in the comments and we can walk through it. And if you feel that you want to go and check the answer directly, you, here is the solution. So how we would do is, we would run through, run a for loop on the string and at every value we check if that particular item is a part of the list. Here the list is our list of vowels. If it is not a part of the vowels, we just push the result and that's it. This is pretty simple like that. Okay, so in the, uh, in the example, we have a A, E, I, O, U list. This could be either, uh, this list could be either array, object or individual items. And check if this A, E, I, O, U exists in this particular string and based on it, you I give this particular output. Okay, let's dive into the code on our lead code. Okay, so here you have remove vowel as a function, s is a string, and let's go through it. So first of all, we'll declare a var result. Initially, it will be an empty string for let i equal to zero, i less than s dot length i plus plus if s of i equals to a smaller case a or we'll copy and paste the whole thing e i o u okay so we don't need the extra or so a e i O and U. Okay, so if this is A E I O U, then we'll simply do because this is a for loop, we can use continue. So what this does is that if if it is an A E I O U, it will skip the next operation. So we won't reach here. So the next step should be result plus equal to S of I. So here we are pushing the result if not a vowel if a vowel we are continuing it so if vowel continue so continue means that it doesn't go here it's gonna go through the loop again like in incrementing the value of i all right so the last step should be return result so that's pretty much it let's see if it passed the run case, it is accepted, and if you submit, it's gonna be accepted as well. Okay, so 
there are other ways to check it because this is 77 like this is much faster right there is another way to check because let's say if the vowels are vowels are just five right but if you need to check it from a list of very large number so how you would do that so let me know in the comment section which are the other ways to solve this problem and we can discuss over there so thank you very much for watching and tomorrow i'll come up with another problem see you and take care bye bye